go. Uh, today I'm just topping up the waters, making sure the plants got enough water. General inspection of all the tubs and like sing, sing to them a little bit, make them feel good. They grow better when they're feeling good. Serenade them. Yes, serenade them. So I guess the tour through uh, hydroponics. Okay, a tour through hydroponics. Uh, we're standing in the cold porch. Um, which as you can see, houses all of our random and various things we use. Um, there's lots of cleaning products and hormones to improve root growth and pH formulas for checking uh, pHs in the tubs and, and uh, calibrating our test meters and things. In here is our first room in hydroponics which you saw me in before. Right. We have lots of cucumbers and capsicums in there. So on the left, yes, yes. Uh, capsicums and cucumbers, there are some growing in amongst there. If you can catch them, some spots of red, they start out green and actually mature red, which is something I learned very quickly in my time here, which I was surprised. I always thought there was different plans for red and green uh, capsicums, but no, there's not. There's some more baby capsicums growing and our cucumber creeper vines over here. I don't really have any large cucumbers, only that little one there which is growing. Uh, and on the right here is our herb section where we have some coriander, uh, which is growing quite nice. Yeah. We have some parsley, which I just harvested. Uh, there's lots of chives and two really big basil trees. Again, all this has just been cut down, so it's looking a little bit bare at the moment, but it's all very healthy. Then we have a lot more parsley in here and some sage. I'm quite surprised actually at the output that we have with this herb section. It um, really does give give a lot to the chef. It's, uh, fresh food's quite a precious commodity down here really, isn't it? It it's, is. Uh, it's it the is. only fresh stuff we get. So. Um, you have a very important job. <laughs> Can we have a look at the other end? Yes, yes, please. Right, I guess I'll walk through first. Uh, this is where we grow our tomatoes and lettuces. You can see our tomato plants here. We have some tiny toms growing here, which are just going out of control. And from those four tiny toms, I get anywhere from two to two and a half kilos a week of tomatoes, which I think is just incredible. Um, I had a little bit of trouble getting the rest of our tomatoes up and going. But we have lots of romas in the middle here, growing uh, quite rapidly, and we have some starts of some fruit on the romas. Uh, and we also have some cherries tomatoes they were labelled on. I'm not really exactly sure what type of tomatoes to expect, but a couple of them have just gone into flower and started to bud up uh, now. They're just starting to produce fruit, so that should be interesting to see how they turn out. Sweet. Uh, over here we have some pak choy, which are just about ready for harvesting. The chefs like to keep them small, so I'm just about to pull them out now. And uh, behind the pak choy we have a lettuce bay. Um, and you can see from the start here we've got little baby lettuces which have just come out of the seedling tray. And then they go around to about a medium sized lettuce, it's still got a couple of weeks to grow down the end there. Um, I'm able to stagger these and actually get about six lettuces a week, which is enough for salad or enough lettuce to last us, uh, generally speaking, for about four or five days for the 25 people we've got, which isn't bad over lunch. Um, if we only had more room, we could get some more lettuces growing, but I've got plans for that. Hopefully things will happen next year. Nice. Doing a good job. Thanks, Nick. So are you. It's a team effort. <laughs> it is a team effort. Yes, I help lead it. <laughs> well, as you can see, it's a fine, taut individual been exercising. Uh, not much. Today I'm stuck in the kitchen again harassing the chef. I know. It's all wrong. Yeah. Um, been running my unicycle. I'm getting reasonable at that now. Well, let's have a look at that sort of Yeah, it's that, that, that'll, there may have to be an interview while I'm riding the unicycle. Yeah, alright. 
The LA seals are gone, that's very significant. Oh, I've moved it up a few more times. That's what I do with my time. Oh, mate. Struggling. Struggle town. Taking a walk at Long Struggle Town here. Trying to tape up this ductwork and uh, hang it. So uh, it was going good up until I had to tape it, yeah. which is a pain in the ass. But we're getting there, it's coming along. What you up to, Nick? No, you don't bet. Don't do anything. At least this looks a bit more professional than sticking my arm down the toilet bowl, so. Uh, toilets are good. <laughs> How are you doing back uh, good as far as I know. Yeah. Nothing, nothing much of interest. No news, no news. Well, my sister recently sold a house, so she's moving. That's all big news. Where was the sister? She lived in Wynyard, and now she's moving to Boone. Oh, the, that's a huge move. The thriving metropolis oh, of Boone. Oh my god. I don't think the place will ever be the same. Uh, yes. It's only just starting to recover. What's been happening this month? Like, this month? Yeah. Well? Month. Month, yeah. Month. <laughs> I've expanded my F replacements of TH's vocabulary. <laughs> yeah? How are you going with that? Yeah. Pretty good. I've actually expanded into other letters. Oh. So, you know, like words that have an E, with a stroke on it, like a funny little stroke, like resume, called resume, <laughs> or resume. The full monkeys. Well, that's something that's happened. I don't know if you mentioned the full monkeys. Tell me about the full monkeys. Full monkeys. Well, where to begin? Um, not long after V4 left, we were sitting at the bar one Friday, or Saturday night, or probably Friday, talking about Kim's upcoming birthday. Kim being the chef, and what we're going to do for a birthday cake. So, three idiots got together and asked him what he'd like, and he said a crock and bush. And two of the idiots go, What the hell is that? And one of the idiots goes, Oh, I know exactly what that is. So, we said, We can do it. Ah, uh, what else happened? Oh, band hero. Band hero? Yep, expert 95% on expert. Wow. Band hero. Yep. So, so there's me, Chief Monkey, Nige, Talent Monkey, Ash and Adam, the other two monkeys. Well, Ash is a food colouring monkey, and Adam is a burn himself on a, on a fry pan monkey. So, the four of us are in there, and 8,000 pots later, we rip off a feast, and Kim was suitably impressed. I think everyone. We did a pretty good job. Yeah. We might have peaked too early. So, building projects coming along well? Yeah. This is what I've been working on the past few days. Past couple of weeks, actually. All this stuff working in. I haven't done all of it myself, but been uh, sort of yeah, working on most of it. Got much to go? Oh, yeah, got a lot. The rest of this room and upstairs. Days. Yeah, but it's good though. It's like, I feel like a kid again playing Meccano. <laughs> Stick the metal bits together and the nuts go there and the nuts go here. <laughs> it's great. So, out of all your other winters that you've done, how has this one shaped up so far? Yeah, yeah, pretty good. Um, yeah, the people are all great. Having fun. We're really good when the sea ice opens. So we can start burning fossil fuels. So yeah. uh, hopefully that happens in the next week or so. We can start driving everywhere. But also, yeah, it also means you can traverse between huts really easily. You can stop off and explore places you normally wouldn't walk to. And it means you can actually carry a lot more stuff out to the huts and bring a lot more stuff back. So if I feel the need, I could carry out four comfy chairs in the back of a hag and we could just have an afternoon lounging in the moonlight. All these things you can do now. We could take the ping pong table out. 
park it out the front of Clutcher. Oh, Extreme ping pong. Oh, okay. There's all these things you can do now. Vehicles are in play. Uh, yeah, so that's what that means. Another one. 50 k's. Jesus Christ, I'm an athlete. My mower has grown to record lengths. Yes, it is coming. Actually, yes, that, that has been a new addition. Soon I'll be doing these ones next to Link. Yeah. And twirling the mow. Become a master twirler like himself. I'll even have my own moustache comb. Put this as a sea ice means. It means we can go within 200 metres of icebergs. So that's very exciting. 200, 200 metres, I think, is the limit. Oh, who knows? But my definition of about 200 metres is this far. So, so that's pretty good. It also means that now a lot of people will be out weekends, so they won't get to see me frock up as much, which is very disappointing. But it also means that you can do it up in more extreme places. Exactly right, it does mean I can do it up in all sorts of places. Shaky. Is it? Last few weeks, yeah. How so? Um, broke up with my girlfriend last um, last set. No, not last Saturday, the Saturday before. So that's what ten days ago, ten or eleven days ago. It was uh, almost four years together. Came to an end. Well, I might be free, but I don't have that many options no. around here. No. <laughs> Not unless I'm batting for the other team. <laughs> well, in that case, you know, probably still don't have any options. No, that is true as well. <laughs> I'm smiling, but it's nothing to smile about. But no. I guess smiling is just a nervous reaction. But um, it's funny how life changes. So that, that's um, been a little bit of a downer just recently for me. I had some good news on other fronts. Yeah. Mum is feeling a lot better. She's recovering uh, reasonably well and having a lot more energy and things these days. And my friend who had the second course of chemo and radiation um, is actually starting to feel better and it looks like he's on the men's, which was really good. It's been a bit of a, bit of a mixed five or six weeks. Um, life doesn't stop here and it doesn't stop at home. So. No, it doesn't. <laughs> 